Hey everyone, Shark Nike and welcome to another video. First of all, I would like to say Happy New Year's to everyone. Hopefully 2021 is a little bit better than 2020. On today's video, I'm gonna bring you my start of the push for the January season. So got my first push on 2021. As you can see here, I ended the day with five nice triples and it was around 270 trophies. That ended up putting me in the top 100 in Australia at 87. We still have to push a little bit more. We still have 23 days to finish at the top of Australia, hopefully, and top 100 in the world. I'm gonna be using this uh, army, the Super G Wiz. So let's get to the first attack. Here I'm coming in against Spartak, and obviously, with this army, uh, with the Blizzard, you wanna take that Town Hall as your first priority. Obviously, the Town Hall is in the center and you can get a little bit more value by taking the eagle or something else that is on the sides then obviously do that but on this occasion we were able to take that tank hole. and also the other thing that i want to do with my blizzard is to create a path in for my queen walk to start one side of the funnel as well so i use my queen walk with five healers and the cockaloon the ice golem from the cc comes towards my queen well, that's fine. She's going to be able to get rid of it nice and quickly. Now that I know where my queen is going, I put on the other corner uh, the king and the witches just to create the other side of the funnel. And then I send all my giants and my super wizards in the center, in the middle with my warden just to go inside the base. With this army, it's pretty much extremely strong if the giants are inside the base. If the giants end up walking, then uh, the core will never get hit and you will never get a 3 star. But uh, if the giants, like in this case, go all the way into the center of the base, I don't think I could have done it in a better, this base will be a wreck. As you can see, I used the jump so that they go inside. Super giants, one of the good things about them is that they can just go through walls so quickly that it's uh, crazy. That's why I use the super giants instead of the pekkas and um, or the golems as well. I've seen a different army with golems and super wizards, which I will be trying in my other account. But so far, from the ones I have tried, I believe this one is one of the strongest. So as you can see, almost all the defenses are gone. We still have the RC. Uh, killing the defending RC, everything is down and now it's just clean up and we get this nice 3 star to start the day. Now we've got this one, uh, again I'm gonna come in for the town hall, so I send a few cocoloons just to make sure that all the black mines hit my cocoloons, but however the black mines ended up hitting my blimp. However, it did end up getting into the compartment I wanted, which is where the town hall is. I start putting my rage and invisibility spells. I usually, with this army, I only bring three invisibility spells and the rage, and that ends up getting rid of the town hall. Sometimes you only need two invisibility spells if, if the wizards start targeting the town hall at the beginning. So you only need a rage and two super wizards. Now I put my poison down. Headhunter dies, the super minions even on the poison sometimes deal a lot of damage so I end up freezing them and I create that side of the funnel with the queen. Now that I created that I put my king and the ice golem on the other side with the witches to create the other side of the funnel and I put my jump just to make sure that my giants aren't wandering around and they go in. Now I was a little bit late with my warden ability over there I wanted to save the queen ability however I ended up clicking on the warden ability exactly at the same time as my queen. Uh, went off, but that's all right. It will still be a pretty strong army that we don't need the queen ability where I wanted it So the scatter goes down my main army is inside the king ice column and which is on the outside with the RC Which is what you want put my last rage down just to make sure that my giants do go through the walls like butter And now it's just them just walking around the base in in a, an anti-clockwise formation we still have the RC and the Queen, uh, we still have the RC ability, now they're in the Scattershot compartment, get rid of the Scattershot, the only thing that is really hitting us is that Grand Expo, but um, once they get rid of the Multi Infernos they should be going inside. And uh, now we've got the Queen getting rid of the Multi Inferno. 
king on the outside getting rid of the garbage the queen stays on the inside getting rid of the grand expo now we only have the wizard tower and this is gonna be a nice triple uh, so now it's just clean up which is pretty good now, as you can see there's not much of the army left but there's enough that this is a triple so that was the second triple of the day so now let's go to the third triple so again, the town hall is on the side, so I'm going to send a couple of loons and the blimp just to get rid of the town hall. Now, the other good thing is that with this blizzard, we can get rid of the CC as well without super wizards, which at the moment is triple ice golem, which is fine. The town hall goes down, they get rid of one of the ice golems, one more is coming out. I put one of the super wizards, uh, they just damaged the single inferno and I stabbed my queen. Now, I ended up putting her there to walk to the left as the one on the right the multi and the uh, inferno on the right is a single and the one on the left is a multi so it's better for my queen walk as long as the multi inferno is not targeting my healers it should be fine and since that compartment is open it shouldn't be targeting it so i send my um giants and my super wizards just to make sure that they don't target it Put a wretch down i was trying to save again the queen that's something i really need to work on um, i end up being too late on rages or on warden ability to save my queen ability but as i said before this army is so strong it, you don't actually need the queen ability so they just keep going inside put the jump in the center of the base as they're moving in i've got my rc ender which is on the other side just getting rid of some of the defenses and buildings as well just to help with the cleanup now they're just going to be going against the king the single inferno targets my queen and over here i end up using the freeze to save my queen uh, and i think in hindsight probably i should have left her die since i didn't get much value from her afterwards and she does end up dying to the single inferno so probably i could have saved it and used it for the rc as she's going through the base but that's all right we still managed to triple so just showing how p this army is so now we've got our three which is still alive super wizard a normal wizard the warden and they're all just going around the base and uh it's just that single inferno that is a bit pestering but with the uh, witches and the skellies single infernos can't really do much so uh, this was a nice triple as well now we've got to our fourth triple again this base i've seen it plenty and i saw on a message from burnt base that it was the most burnt base in the website so if you have this base just trash it because now i'm showing you like the hundredth way of tripling this base so i put the blizzard there just to get rid of the town hall the good thing with the blizzard as well is if you have a compartment like this where the super wizards are being um, defended and they can't move into the town hall blast then it's perfect for uh, this uh, strategy you want a little bit of a barrier so that as soon as they get rid of the temple they don't run directly into the gigabomb and that way you still have them there if you still have some invisibility spells obviously if they get rid of the temple on the last invisibility spell and then it doesn't really matter so we put the queen and she ends up walking down now i put my ask on uh, witches and the king at nine o'clock just to funnel my giants i want them to go inside into that single inferno compartment so I'm also going to be sending the RC just to get rid of the Archer Tower just to make sure that most of my giants do go inside. That way I can put the jump there just to make sure that they go inside towards the Eagle compartment. And as I said before, you just want that jump just to make sure that they go into the center of the base. Once they're in the center of the base, they can just go through walls like butter. And if you put a rage on them, they go even faster. So now we're just going. We still have the two skeletons on the back end with the also defending queen but our rc gets rid of it her pretty quickly some of the giants go to one scatter my rc goes to the other scatter and with her ability i end up getting it down the last inferno is multi inferno which is fine for the giants it doesn't do much damage and we still have all of our healers healing all our army our queen is still alive we still have the queen ability so i decided to pop it here just to get into the multi inferno as quick as we could and uh, this was another triple so if you see this base which is uh, running quite a fair bit now you know how to triple it with this army and finally we've got this ring base and to be honest i believe that i got very lucky on this attack however 
lucky or not, it was still triple, so let's see what I did. So I used the blizzard, obviously the blimp, if you don't bring a lava or something like that, it will not get to the town hall. So what you do with it is just break the ring, just uh, just like with any other army, when you're going to a ring base, you want to break the ring. And obviously there's the eagle, so I just want to get rid of the eagle nice and quickly. With this army, I think it's better to get rid of the eagle over a scattershot. Um, I also wanted to damage the heroes, probably even kill them, didn't manage to kill them, but I did get the eagle down. So now I just put my queen at 6 and she's going to be walking to the left. Uh, I put my king, my witches, and also when there's no open walls, I send a couple of giants just to help with the uh, uh, wall break. And then I send all of my giants around uh, 7.30 just to open the wall, and then I put my jump. I thought that my king and giants at 9 were going to be a little bit faster and create the other side of the funnel, but they didn't and that caused my entire army to start moving around and none of them to take the jump. So sadly I just liked that jump and now they're just moving around the base. Put the rage down, we still have the queen ability and the RC ability. But as I said, now we've swiped the, the um, jump, so my only um, help is for them to get rid of all of the defenses and the buildings around the ring, and then for them to go inside into the center of the base and try getting that town hall. So in the center we've got the town hall, we've got the Tesla farm, and we've got a single inferno, so let's see how we do it. The LC ends up getting rid of the final scattershot. Now there's the enemy king as well and the expo, the expo goes down, we still have a lot of giants there so they end up tanking the king and the expo, the king goes down, now the queen is getting rid of the archer tower, they're going to be getting rid of some of the garbage there, the RC ends up going into the tank hall first, they use her ability and the good thing about the RC going into the tank hall, she gets rid of the single inferno, one of the teslas and also pops one of the skelly traps which would have tanked my queen if the RC hadn't uh, popped it. Now some of the giants do go inside, however the queen can reach everything, so I use her ability, she gets rid of the tank, gets rid of the teslas, and this is another triple. Okay guys, so with that triple I ended up finishing my third day in Legends, I will be uh, bringing you all of these attacks every day with my legend push hopefully getting to the top 100 in the world so we will see how we go at the moment we started a little bit slow but let's see how we go I'm also just showing you at the moment the main racing team is gonna be out of Aussie Militia this is a CWO one and by the end of the week I will be bringing you all of the rules that we have had against all of these teams so if you like this video please click the like button subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time with more clash see ya